we're going to get you to be drifting this car today. Well, what I'm worried about, uh, he hasn't driven a manual car for the past two years, maybe. The last car he's driven was his mom's car. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. Oh. <laughs> OK, let's see what happens. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ahmed Ham. I'm from Jordan, and I'm a professional drifter. And we are here in Madaba Circuit. I'm Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, the goalkeeper for the Indian national team. So we are in Jordan right now in Amman, and uh, I'm with the Ham, who's going to teach me uh, how to drift. Um, there'll be three courses, I think. Uh, he'll try to teach me how to do a donut, a figure of eight, and uh, probably a track drift. My car has 700 horsepower. His car has, uh, his mom's car has 160 horsepower. <laughs> it's a huge difference. <laughs> And you're pretty good at this, huh? Uh, they say so, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're the number one. You enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. A lot, a lot. Uh, this is, we are in Madaba now. This is the oldest circuit in Jordan. This wow. is actually where I learned drifting. This is actually wow. where I learned driving. Wow. Like 17 years ago. So we're going to get you to be drifting this car today. <laughs> First challenge of today is going to be the donut. This is the easiest thing you can do. It's not a donut, it's not eating a donut. You're going to actually do a donut around this cone, OK? Just like you did. Just like I did, <laughs> OK? But what you have to do, we want to get some speed coming from right. the cone to our left. Speed. And you have to pull the handbrake. As right. soon as you see the car going sideways or you feel the rear end going sideways, you hit the throttle, and then you start modulating between the throttle and the steering wheel, All right. OK? We want the left front wheel to be exactly at the cone, OK? What not do do on the cone. Not, not on the cone, OK? We don't want to get the cone under the car, <laughs> but uh, All right. you can do this as much as you want, like 10, 20 times, uh, until you get dizzy. Let's go. Same thing, donut. <laughs> Okay. You barely touched the handbrake. You're like, oh, still is fine. More, more handbrake. More handbrake. Did it work? Okay, the car is not going to start. Goes. If you do less throttle, the car will go to the outside, okay? I think the cone is somewhere under us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, man. Uh, that was good. I could see the cone there. <laughs> yeah, and you were very close to the cone. But you're understanding the steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Once you see the cone, exactly. then you know. Exactly. That was good. That was good. Okay. Okay, cool. So, we finished the first challenge. I'll show you. This is the second challenge. It's to connect the first cone to the second one. But the hard part about this one is going to be in the other side. That Sounds easy. It sounds easy, but let's see if it's going to be easy. But uh, yeah, that one, the cone was on your left. Yeah. So you can actually see the cones where you see it. This one's going to be on your right. So on that's, that's the difficult part. That's the difficult part and linking them both together. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it. Oh, uh, let's hope so. <laughs> OK, let's see what happens. <laughs> Break, more throttle. Yeah, yeah. 
Remember what I did over here? Yeah, yeah. More throttle and then handbrake. But the first one, you're done with it. The first one's perfect. Ah. You, you could have continued with it if you yeah, kept yeah. on the throttle. Yeah. Okay. challenges are just to get familiar with the car, just to have a feel of the handbrake and the brake and the throttle and the clutch, just to, you know, to feel the car. But right. this is the real drifting. For today, I've drawn you some clipping points. As yeah. you can see, there's white boxes. There's one on the outside and one on the apex from the inside and then one on the outside again, okay? And right at the clipping point, you're gonna have to use the handbrake. Turn the car. In Turn the, the car. Lose some grip, clutch, handbrake. Keep that in mind. The handbrake will not work without the clutch, okay? So it's outside, inside. inside Outside. And outside. Okay, sounds easy. That's and then funny. hopefully, hopefully we can link the other corner. Yeah. Some people learn in one day, so hopefully, like I'm telling you, you're a tall guy, so that helps a lot. So hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll My get weight somewhere. is gonna make the car drift, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Handbrake was good, but the throttle, the car died. Almost there, almost there. It was ah. okay. Again. Okay, you got okay. You see, let's see. You just need, just risk it. As soon as you lift it off, what happened? It went the opposite way. Yeah. Why? Because it's not spinning the wheels anymore. Okay? <laughs> late. Do the handbrake a little bit later. So you won't end up in the tires. Problem was the steering wheel was still to the right, yeah. so it was going into the tires. It was going correct, but you have to more throttle and then steering to the left. No, no, no. more throttle. Ah. Same thing, same thing. More throttle and then more steering to the left. You barely pulled the handbrake. It was good, because you needed more throttle. How do you think you did overall today? Oh, pretty awesome, man. Like, for the first day, you know, making donuts. Wow. I mean, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> All over the place, OK. His hands are like. <laughs> How do you think you did as a teacher? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm a patient guy. I was a little bit stressed out at the beginning because he has no background whatsoever in cars. He's good in balls, but not in cars. But, uh, yeah, I think I was good. I think that was good. You can ask him. <laughs> He's a quick learner. He was able to do the donuts very good, actually. 
and the figure of eight he did a couple of times, but on the corner he's struggling a little bit. I think he's a little bit scared of the tires on the track, that's why. It's just, I think it's his first time in this kind of environment and hopping into a 700 horsepower car is not an easy thing, so. The driving I've done in the last, uh, I don't know, seven years is nothing. Everything I learned was in the bin. And this is the real driving, you know, this is what uh, driving can be. It's a crazy experience, a lot to learn, but I hope I don't do it in India, in traffic.